Moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback is a medication that is used to treat different types of bacterial infections. It belongs to a class of drugs called quinolone antibiotics, and it works by stopping the growth of bacteria in the body. This injection form of moxifloxacin is used and the medication cannot be taken by mouth. It is important to take this medication as directed by your doctor, and it is usually given by a healthcare professional in a hospital or clinic setting. The dosage and timing of this medication will be determined by your healthcare provider based on your specific condition. Before starting the moxifloxacin treatment, make sure to read the medication guide and patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. This medication is administered by injection into a vein as directed by your doctor, typically once a day. It's important to not inject it into the skin or muscle, and to give the medication over at least 60 minutes to avoid increasing your heartbeat. If you feel dizzy, it's important to notify your healthcare professional right away. The dosage and duration of treatment will depend on your condition and how you respond to the treatment. Once you're able to take medications by mouth, your doctor will switch you to an antibiotic that can be taken orally. If you're using this medication at home, it's essential to learn all the preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Before using it, visually inspect the product for particles or discoloration. If you see either, do not use the liquid. Also, make sure to learn how to safely store and discard medical supplies. While using this medication, it's recommended to drink plenty of fluids unless your doctor directs otherwise. If you're unable to take fluids by mouth, you will be given fluids through a vein. For the best effect, use this antibiotic at evenly spaced times. To help you remember, use it at the same times every day. It's important to continue using this medication until the full prescribed amount is finished, even if your symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may result in a return of the infection. If your condition persists or worsens, make sure to inform your doctor. Possible side effects of moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback include pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site, nausea, diarrhea, headache, weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness, or trouble sleeping. However, many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. It's important to contact your doctor if you experience any serious side effects, such as unusual bruising or bleeding, signs of a new infection, signs of kidney or liver problems, or very serious side effects like severe dizziness, fainting, or fast-slash-irregular heartbeat. Prolonged or repeated use of this medication may result in oral thrush or a new vaginal yeast infection. If you notice any new symptoms, contact your doctor. This medication may rarely cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you develop symptoms such as persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain, or blood-slash-mucus in your stool, contact your doctor immediately. While a severe allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember, this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you experience any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you have concerns about side effects, talk to your healthcare provider about whether moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback is right for you. Moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback is a type of antibiotic that may cause serious tendon damage, nerve problems, and nervous system issues. You should seek medical help immediately if you experience any pain, numbness, burning, tingling, weakness, or changes in sensation. This medication may also worsen a certain muscle condition called myasthenia gravis. It is important to talk to your doctor about the potential risks and benefits before using this medication. If you experience joint, muscle, or tendon pain or swelling, stop exercising and seek medical help. This medication may pose a greater risk for tendon problems if you are over 60 years old, taking corticosteroids, or have had a kidney, heart, or lung transplant. Make sure to inform your doctor if you have any new or worsening muscle weakness or trouble breathing. Before using moxifloxacin, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to it, other quinolone antibiotics, or any other allergies you may have. Also, let them know about your medical history, including diabetes, 
heart problems, joint-slash-tendon problems, liver disease, mental-slash-mood disorders, myasthenia gravis, nerve problems, seizure disorder, blood vessel problems, high blood pressure, and certain genetic conditions. Moxifloxacin may cause a condition that affects the heart rhythm, so be aware of symptoms like fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness, or fainting that require immediate medical attention. This risk may be increased if you have certain medical conditions or are taking other drugs that may cause QD prolongation, so be sure to disclose all the drugs you are taking and any heart conditions to your doctor. Low levels of potassium or magnesium in the blood may also increase your risk, so talk to your doctor about using moxifloxacin safely if you are using certain drugs or have certain conditions. This medication may also rarely cause serious changes in blood sugar, especially if you have diabetes, so be vigilant and watch for symptoms of high or low blood sugar. Moxifloxacin may make you dizzy and more sensitive to the sun, so be cautious with alcohol, marijuana, and sun exposure. It may also affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so inform your healthcare professional before having any immunizations. Children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially joint-slash-tendon problems, and older adults may be at greater risk for tendon problems, QD prolongation, and a sudden tear-slash-break in the main blood vessel. During pregnancy, use this medication only when clearly needed and consult your doctor before breastfeeding. Be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use before having surgery. It's important to be aware of the potential drug interactions that may occur with moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback. These interactions can change how the medication works and may increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback include blood thinners like acenocumarol and warfarin, as well as strontium. It's also important to be aware that many drugs, not just moxifloxacin, may affect the heart rhythm, QD prolongation, including medications such as amiodarone, dofetilide, procainamide, quinidine, sotalol, and zeprasidone, among others. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medications while using moxifloxacin in NACL, ISOASM, piggyback. If someone takes too much of this medication and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., residents can contact their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important to regularly have lab and medical tests done, such as liver function, complete blood count, and blood glucose, while using this medication. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. Make sure to take each dose of moxifloxacin in NACL, ASOASM, piggyback as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to establish a new dosing schedule. Be sure to follow the product instructions and ask your pharmacist about how to store this medication. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Do not dispose of medications in the toilet or drain unless instructed to do so. When this product is expired or no longer needed, make sure to discard it properly. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.